such an unusual way to get around. <laughs> but I've done a lot of unusual things over the last 13 years of my life here in Asia, things that I wasn't expecting. And the last 12 and a half years, nearly 13 years now, have been the best years of my life. And it's something that I've been talking about. I've got mentioned it in a, in a recent video. And this past weekend, I had an unusual event occur at my house. The man who inspired me to uh, start making videos on YouTube has a channel of his own. He calls himself Ronin Man. What Ronin Man does, what his channel is about, is about men's issues, about you know how to have a successful, happy, productive and meaningful life as a man and all the challenges that one might encounter in, in, in that pursuit. And what he does, what Ronaman does with his channel is he promotes these uh, meetups that he has all around the world. And he's had them uh, many in the United States. Uh, and now, he, you know, a few months ago, he came back here to, uh, to Thailand and, uh, and, and arranged one of these weekend meetups where uh, 14 men, including myself, got together uh, for a weekend of, uh, of fellowship, of comradeship, of uh, being together with other men. And the men were ranged in ages, age from 32 to 73. The 73-year-old guy would be me. And these men were generally successful guys. I mean, you know, these are guys that could uh, put enough money aside to uh, fly to Thailand. They came from Singapore, uh, Europe, and the United States to converge here in Bangkok uh, for a meetup. And uh, one of those days, it was a three-day meetup for them. I only participated in the one day where I let Ronin Man use my home as a gathering place. And, uh, and it was a really nice event. And I had done this once before with him about three years ago, and I re really enjoyed the company of these guys. Like I said, they are a diverse group of guys from around the world who are generally successful and getting together um, out of comradeship more than any, anything else. One of the things that I said, I didn't say a lot in that, that meeting. I was just a host, and I tried to be a good host, and I did participate with them. But one of the things that I did say uh, that had an impact on them was that the last, I'm 73 years old, and the last 13 years have been the best of my life. Now, where I'm coming from, the reason I just got off that uh, canal boat coming from downtown, coming back to my home, is because I was downtown to have breakfast with Ronan Man and one of the other participants in that uh, uh, gathering that took place a few days ago. And as I was talking with Ronan Man and, and Scott, the other guy, they, uh, they confirmed to me that what I said to these men about the last 13 years being the happiest of my life had a big impact on them. And I've also had other reinforcements about that. Men expressing envy uh, to me about my lifestyle here in Bangkok. Now, the thing with Ronan Man, Ronan Man is indeed a uh, free spirit. He offers to... Uh, the, these uh, these gatherings a unique perspective on on how to live your life as a minimalist. Ronan Man is one of the few people in the world that I've met that truly is a minimalist. He likes living as a minimalist with very few possessions and being able to travel where he wants to go whenever he wants to go. And he does do that in a successful way. He pulls it off. But I found most people, most men, aren't really like that. They come to my house here in Bangkok. They see me living with my girlfriend, her three children and two cousins all under one roof. And they see the happy lifestyle, the has happy and, and prosperous lifestyle that I have here. Uh, you know, and like I thought I was kind of a minimalist when I arrived here as well, but that's not really true because I had stuff back in the United States in storage, you know, a house full of furniture and storage back there. And I quickly started putting together stuff here. I have a home, furnishings, camera equipment, all kinds of, all kinds of toys, and, you know, a, a very uh, cluttered lifestyle by a minimalist perspective. But I found that that's what a lot of men envy, and, or at least the men that have been talking to me in the last couple of weeks. And I appreciate that because it kind of happened naturally to me. I think most men want to uh, contribute 
to be providers. They feel good if they're successful and can, and can put something together that provides safety and security for a family like my girlfriend and, and her family. Yeah, I, 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 I know for me, I almost naturally started developing um, a secure home, place to live, and you know, a family, a surrogate family that I take care of and I feel really good about that. And I guess that's the lesson of this, uh, of this video is being in contribution, having a lifestyle where you can live a prosperous and secure life and have something to contribute to others. Now, that can take a lot of shapes. It doesn't have to be a family. It can be a lot of things. I mean, Ronan Man, who is very much an individual and unattached, uh, he takes pride in the fact that he's contributing to the lives of these men who follow him on YouTube and come to his meetups. And he is. He has a very positive impact on their life. His unique perspective on the world has, has great value. And here's the thing. I've learned how to have this lifestyle with, uh, with a house and a family and a lot of stuff, but still a measure of independence where I can get out and go my own way when I need to. And I do do that. I travel fairly frequently, at least twice a year back to the States and other places as well. And I have a lot of independence and, and self-expression within that lifestyle as well. But yeah, I guess today's lesson is about contribution gotta pay it forward go out and create something good for yourself for sure but make you sure you do it in a way that contributes to others along the way see you in the next video